Welcome again to creating an invoice in Vue.js and we are going to start the project that we have created previously. So we will right click and open with code. Now I will open the terminal start the development server. So npm run serve and enter this will start our development server so clicking this link control plus this link we can see the output so we'll keep it inside and we will keep them both side by side so we can see so yesterday we have completed this table body so today we are going to work on a I mean today's section yesterday section so today we store we have finished T body now we have to work on the footer side so table foot yeah we have it here now inside the table food we need to have it table row inside the table row we need to have a, a table data so we have the table data so I will add a strong tag items oh, maybe okay I items you have the strong now we will put a scheme add product Correct count. So we have got a product count here. Now it will not work anyways because it will. We don't have this was the schema we have added this one. So have to add a product count for that purpose I am you going to use computer property of Vue.js here computer property product count is a function that's going to return zero now I will declare a variable I will check if it is current or not otherwise we will code it again this dot invoice dot invoice details dot length minus one now we need to write another variable that's a let val so val equals zero now we will write a for loop that's a for I I more than or equals zero I minus minus while 
plus equals please float this dot invoice dot invoice details array i dot qty So we have got the total in the for loop. So we will just return the value and we will check whether it's now working or not. Product one, price and quantity, 100 and it's not working. Yes, now it's working fine. So we have finished so far. So far, so good. So we will add another TD. And uh, This TD, I will add some call span of three. Now, class of uh, text hyphen center center. Strong. total let me see yes so we have taken three calls so total items 100 and the totals and one more thing so we have finished with the TD and another TD for our subtotal yes TD so for that purpose we have to have a span so inside the span um, I will put a subtotal so um, okay get subtotal okay that's all enough now we are going so before that i will put a class there text info text hyphen bold So total hyphen underline underline. Now we need to add a subtotal computer property. So we will come here after product count. We have to add this subtotal and we just to return um, zero let's see if it is working final okay so that was that was 
mistake and I found out the mistake and we had to have a comma there okay okay fine we have got it here and okay that's that's good so we'll just copy this one everything from here so that uh, we don't have any mistakes so here we will have a subtotal yes and just see we have product 2 quantity of unit price of 20 quantity of 1 and our subtotal is uh, 20 so we'll add a 10 percentage discount okay that's working fine here now we need to add a We have a TD now for the tax percentage we don't want to have a, a total so easiest method I know is just put a TD there that's all enough I suppose so we have a empty TD there so we'll just copy for the other two TDs so for the tax value we will call get dot okay get tax tax dot and for the other thing get dot that's all enough so we have to add get tax dot just to return zero we have to put a comma here otherwise it will complain and we have to have another get dot so again I forgot to put a comma there anyways every time it happens to me I'll return zero and check it if it's working or fine so we have got the data there but uh, incorrect anyways we will fix it now itself so for that purpose I'll just copy all the contents from here okay let i is equal to invoice dot invoice details dot length minus one That wall is equal to zero for while price fall. So this was is, is about the tax total. So um, not the tax rate, but the tax value. So again, I will copy the same thing and paste here. Now we will put the total, and I have to check whether it's working fine or not we have 100 total quantity of uh, 10 and 10 percentage discount and tax of 10 percentage if we don't have tax okay fine 10 percentage tax and the total things to yes so we have 
finish the tea food means table food successfully we will continue adding data so this plus icon we have to enable in the next video so whenever we plus any but whenever we press button this button so the rows will be added to it that's what the thing we are going to do in the next video thank you for watching so far